Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's mid-December 2020 and we've had extra functionality added to our Azimuth Over Elevation DDI page, IFF-based functionality. We are here, we are heading in that direction there. Coming towards us are a series of bad guys and good guys at varying relative azimuths, altitude and speed. Note we also have a friendly donor surveillance aircraft here feeding us information. Before we look at the azimuth over elevation page, let's look at the old method that we used to and can still use to IFF. Assign our TDC to this screen here with SCS right. Then I'm going to go to data, check my latent track while scan is on. And it is. We're going to pan out the range scale so we can see them. Let's move our TDC cursor to the first guy there. We're going to press SCS depress to force a transponder. Give it a few seconds. We've interrogated and we can see now that the HAFU has moved from ambiguous to hostile because the lower part of the HAFU is Chevron. That came from the AWACS, telling us that the AWACS as IFF Tim is hostile. And the top part of the HAFU is also Chevron. So we've got two factor authentication. He's definitely hostile. We can now go and do the same for the others. Let's get him. Two-factor authenticated hostile. Him. Two-factor authenticated friendly. Two-factor authenticated hostile. And it remembers. So we go back to the track. And we can see the track retains the coalition of the hostile. Let's reset and look at the azimuth over elevation method. This time we're going to go air to air mode. Master menu. Main menu. Azimuth over elevation. Allow it to populate vast majority of the symbology and the functions we went over in part one of the video. I'm going to assume you've already watched that. The new functionality added is launch and steer interrogate, auto interrogate, IFF azimuth filter, IFF range filter. By default launch and steer interrogate is selected and the way we would use that is to assign TDC to this screen with SCS left Use our slew key, TDC slew, to move our TDC cursor around. Select a target by putting it on top here. Out of interest, information shown here is the speed of the target, the thousands of feet ASL of the target, closing velocity, nautical miles range, and heading of the target, one factor authenticated hostile shown by the diamond coming from Link 16 network. Also identifies the aircraft type as a C-130. We could go for that one and you see he's identified as a C-17 that's coming from the AWACS in this case. You can see that all of these tracks are currently ambiguous. They've all been IFF'd as hostile or friendly by the AWACS and they are all currently unknown by our own ship sensors. We are now going to press TDC depress on this guy here. That's going to convert him to launch and steer which you can see because he's got a star and any guys to the left or right of him within a certain threshold are also going to be IFF and you can see now we've got two factor authentication hostile on our launch and steer and on these two secondaries which are close enough to the launch and steer. That was using launch and steer interrogate now we're going to reset just for simplicity to use uh, auto interrogate. This time we're going to turn off launch and steer interrogate turn on auto interrogate but first we're going to set our filters so IFF currently 140 degrees azimuth, 70 degrees left, 70 degrees right. Why don't we change that all the way down to 20, 10 degrees left of this line, 10 degrees right of that line. And also we can change the range up to which range do we want the IFF to happen? 100 nautical miles, 80, 40, 20, 10, 5, back to 100. Well, I want to go for the full range, but only 10 degrees left, 10 degrees right. Auto. Now we're going to watch this populate. You see the guidelines at which point we are interrogating. Okay, very good. Now let's increase that to 40. 20 degrees left, 20 degrees right. It didn't quite catch any more. Oh, yes, we did. We've got the rest of it. And out of interest, we can go to 80 and 140. So the real benefit here that we don't have, have on the attack radar, at least at the moment, is that we can automatically IFF interrogate everything within a certain filter. And that filter could be 140 degrees and 100 miles. So that's a really useful function. I hope that was useful and see you later.